it's Janine and today I'm going to be doing my December yay and nay. December was such a good month for me. I'm just, December was the month that I finished school, got to go home, I got, I worked a job, I stayed in Dallas, I just got to hang out with friends, completely just relax and do whatever I want. Christmas, just, and my sister-in-law's baby was born on the 28th or 29th. So December was just such a good month for me and now it is January 2nd. Crazy to think that it's a new year. So I want to tell you guys my favorites of the month and some of my not so favorites of the month. I only have about three. So I'm going to be jumping right in this video and I hope you guys like it and let's just get right into it. Okay, I am sick so I'm sorry if you notice anything, but let's just jump right into this. So, the first thing on my favorite is this MAC Painterly Pot, or Paint Pot, I keep getting that wrong. It's a MAC Paint Pot and it is in the shade Painterly. And this is such an amazing base. It completely just like covers up any veins on your lids and whatnot, discoloration. And then it keeps your eyeshadow stain on all day. I believe it's like $20, which is kind of expensive. But I ran out of my Urban Decay primer. So I hear such good things about this. So I wanted to get it. And it's so worth it. Absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend it. So if you are looking into getting a really good eyeshadow base, completely recommend these. The next thing on my December favorites, this has actually been a favorite for like two months now, is my Beauty Blender. This thing is magical. makes such a difference. I use this every day on my skin and it's so amazing it just makes this flawless coverage on your face I don't know what it is but it's amazing I just put some water in it squeeze it out and apply my foundation like this oh my gosh get yourself a beauty blender and it comes with like a cleanser and two beauty blenders so it's so worth it I got the deal online from Sephora so amazing it will literally transform your foundation so definitely recommend you check that out as well so another product from MAC is I don't buy from MAC, like ever, ever, ever. And then one time my sister was like, oh, let's go to the mall. And I was stupid and brought my wallet with me, which I should not have done. So I went to inside MAC and I was just like, oh, I'm just going to browse. Like, you know, I really don't know what I want. I've never owned a MAC eyeshadow in my life. So I decided to pick out four MAC eyeshadows. And oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. This quad was about $48. And it has such an amazing colors. I'm trying to think of what the names are because I don't know all the names. All I know is this one is all that glitter. So the rest, um, let me see if I can figure them out. So my nails are super ratchet. I ran out of nail polish remover. I'm so sorry. But this first color is Cordroy and it is a matte brown. And it's a beautiful color to work in your outer corner and your crease. This next one is All That Glitters, and it is so highly recommended that I just had to get it. And I'm sorry, there's eyeshadow all over my hands. Please forgive me. This next color is Vanilla, and this is a matte kind of highlighting color. It has a little bit of sparkle in there, but it's an amazing color for your inner corner and above or um, on your brow bone. And this last color is beautiful. It's Mulch. It is a shimmery, pigmented brown color that I love working in my crease. So this palette has definitely been one of my favorites and I love it and it's definitely going to be in some videos in the future. The next favorite is an eyebrow pencil. This is from Rimmel London. It looks really disgusting and ratchet, kind of like my fingers. But it's a brow pencil in the shade Dark Brown and that is like what I use to, oh my gosh, I got eyeshadow on my forehead. Oh, it's what I use to make my brows look so dark and bold now because I didn't use an eyebrow pencil before and when I started using one, it made such a difference. It doesn't go on that dark. Like, if you can see here, I have to really push hard. It's not the best quality, but when I sharpen it, it works really well. So I definitely recommend it if you're in the search for a brow pencil that's really cheap. And this is from Rimmel London, and it was like 2 or $3. So it's definitely affordable, and I would go check it out. Sorry, I was Snapchatting. Okay, the next thing on my favorite, absolutely so amazing, that I've been using for about two months now, is the Neutrogena's Natural Skin Care Line. This is honestly so amazing. I like drugstore products, but like they wouldn't work for me because of all the cheap chemicals. So when I saw that it was natural and it didn't have like chemicals like parabens, sulfates, and silicones, all that type of stuff, I immediately jumped on it and got it. These are so amazing and they have helped my skin so much. Like I completely recommend them. So I have the Purifying Facial Cleanser 
and the acne cream cleanser and the multivitamin nur uh, nourishing moisturizer. So I use all of these like every day and they're so amazing and they're affordable and I completely recommend them because I always look for products that don't have like super harsh, harsh chemical because that's why I really like the Michael Todd but those are just really expensive. So I completely recommend these if you're looking for natural good skincare line that is affordable. So on the topic of keeping things natural and not using harsh chemicals, that is why I have been loving these shampoo and conditioner. This is the L'Oreal Ever Sleek Sulfate Free Suit Smoothing System. So I've been using these on my hair. It is amazing. It keeps my hair super soft, moisturized, and the conditioner is honestly so amazing. The shampoo, it's good, but the conditioner is absolutely my favorite. I put it on my hair and it's just so soft. Like, it is a miracle. I absolutely recommend these if you are just looking for also natural things and they're cheap and affordable. So, completely recommend these because they are like they don't have a lot of like silicones. 48 hour frizz control, like it's amazing. Definitely recommend these if you are looking for a new shampoo and conditioner that's good for your hair and cheap. Now some fashion yays that I have been loving is definitely my wrap around bracelets. So I have like three or <coughs> Man, I thought I was dying. Woo! Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Anyways, so I've been wearing these wraparound bla bracelets and they're all from Romway. Well, this one actually is from a boutique that my sisters went to, but it's so cute. Like, especially I'm obsessed with this black and gold. Like that is just my favorite. So these are both from Romway and I've just been wearing these all month. Like literally ugh, so obsessed with these. I love them so much. So definitely recommend you guys check out some wraparound bracelets like Forever 21 or Romway or Chick Nova, whatever. They have such good deals on there, so I would definitely go check those out. Okay, so I have three last things on my favorite. The next thing is a pair of jeans. So these are from H&M, and my sister owned these jeans, and I put them on, and I was like, these are so amazing. Where did you get these? I thought they were like designer jeans, and she got them from H&M for $10. So they just look like this. They're just plain dark wash, and they're skinny jeans. But there's something about them that they just look like really classy and really nice in pictures and it's just the amazing dark wash. I don't know. I just, I'm obsessed with dark wash jeans and jeans in general. So I've been wearing these like all the time. Like since I got to Dallas and my home, I've been wearing these. So I definitely recommend you go check these out because they're like $10 from H&M and they're so amazing and they fit really well and I just, I recommend you go check them out. Next fashion favorite is my North Face jacket. I got this for Christmas and it is so warm. It's actually really cold outside right now in Dallas. So it's been amazing and I just love North Face jackets. I bought one like two weeks ago as well and oh, they're so soft and it keeps me warm even though I look like a freaking weirdo right now. But they're so amazing. I know they're really pricey but that's why I got it for Christmas and my sister gave it to me but she got like a special deal or something. So, oh, it's so amazing and I love this. I've been wearing this all the time and it keeps me so warm. Now my last favorite is not a fashion or anything. It is a new Bible that I got. I got this uh, probably two weeks ago as well. And I just got a new Bible because the one I had was like super dirty, ratty, ugly. Like I had it when I was really little, it was super ugly. So I went to Barnes and Nobles and got this Bible and it's like a metallic-y Bible. It's so beautiful and I already just kind of like I've been using it and I just wanted to get this because I'm trying to like, my New Year's resolution is going to be kind of like reading my Bible every day. So that's what I want to do and I really feel like, like having a new Bible, having a fresh start is really going to encourage me to do that. So I'm really glad I got a new Bible. It's so beautiful. It's from Barnes and Nobles. It's like $30 and I'm just obsessed with it and it's NIV version and if you're looking for a new Bible, go get this one from Barnes and Nobles. Okay, so now we're gonna go on to the nays of this month. I only have three, and I think I might have talked about one before, I don't remember. But it's this eyelash curler. It was from Rimmel, it's from a, uh, it's from Revlon. And at first it was like freaking bomb.com, and I was like, oh my gosh, I love this thing. And then it like does not even work anymore. Like I'm just like, you know what, bye, you're, you're basic. And then I got this, the EOS lip balms. I love them. But when your lips are literally having problems like dry, chapped, hurting, burning, this does not do the mat. Like this doesn't do anything for me. I've been having like extremely dry problems with my lips, skin flaking off like so bad. And I just put this on there and it does not do anything. Like as soon as I put it on there, I just want to take it right off because it just feels so disgusting. So I love these as 
when your lips aren't dry and flaky. My last nay of the month is this Ico Skinny Mini Brush thing. I got this from Sephora for $10. I got the eyeliner and the mascara. As you saw the eyeliner in my last monthly video. They both kind of stink and I was expecting them to be really good because I always hear such good things. Family is so loud! As I was saying, it just is not that good and I'm kind of disappointed but I did pay $10 for two of them. What can I expect? But I was expecting a really good quality because I see them on Instagram all the time and I was like, holy freaking moly, her lashes and eyeliner looks amazing and it just was not. So that is my video. Those are my monthly yays and nays. It was such a good month. It's January. I'm so excited. And please let me know if you want me to do the best of 2013 video. I'm thinking about it, but please let me know if you want me to do that. And please let me know if you still want me to do a winter lookbook because it's still cold where I am and I really wanted to do a winter lookbook. But I didn't know if it's still like really, really cold where other people are. So let me know if you want me to do one. And I love you guys. Thanks for watching this video. You're the bomb. Happy New Year. And thanks for watching this video. Peace out, girls. Yeah. Bye. Guys, here's the little rascal who's always making noises in my video. Give me a kiss. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs>